Hey folks, Ashish here from Ambrose Custom and this is the part 2 of building a 6 axis CNC machine. And in my last video, I completed this bed framework and now I am going to complete this whole structure. So this jig I made to mark the whole location onto the L brackets. With the help of this jig I am able to punch the whole location at exact position every time. And once the whole location has been marked with the help of hammer punch I enlarge the indentation and then drill the holes to the L bracket so that I am able to fasten it with the top rail. Then I use that same jig to mark the whole location onto the leg pieces because those L brackets are going to be attached at this area and I mark the whole location onto both the opposite ends and after drilling the holes these holes are going to be threaded with M8 thread tab. place the bed onto the leg assembly I need to drill a series of holes so that I can fasten 2x2 two two angle iron onto that series of holes and that bed is going to be placed over those angle irons and also going to fasten them from the bottom as well. Mark the whole location I measure from the top of the leg and make a mark at 37 inches and then place the jig over that line and with the help of center punch mark the whole location drill out the holes tap them and they are ready to be fitted up Start the process of marking the whole location onto the gantry pieces because these are the pieces onto which the leg pieces and those L brackets are going to be attached and those brackets are served as a conjunction for the leg and this gantry rail and to drill those holes I made these two different jig the smaller one is used to, to mark the whole location for the initial hole because in that case the L bracket is going to be attached on one side only and on to rest of the pieces those L brackets are going to be attached on either sides. To provide equal spacing between the set of holes I also cut down a piece of spacer block and with the help of this block I am able to space apart my jig at equal distance repeatedly every time slightly difficult for me to drill the holes onto the drill press so that's why i drill them freehand and i try my best to kept as square as i can once the holes has been drilled out i tap them as well and and make a test fit and they are fitted up quite nicely
Then I start the preparation for drilling the holes into the angle iron pieces and for that I mounted that into my vise and with the help of a jig and a spacer block I drill the holes equally apart with M9 drill. And in the video you can clearly see how I approach for that marking location and then drill them. I drilled out these holes 1mm larger than the fastener I am using so that they will provide me a slight amount of movement for fine adjustment. I repeated this process for both the sides of the angle iron because one of them is going to attach with the leg assembly and other is going to attach with the main bed. Attach the middle braces to the leg. I need to drill the holes into the braces as well and uh, make sure th that you have right orientation while marking the hole location. So this is the jig I use to mark the hole location onto the middle braces. This is the same jig which I use to mark the hole location onto the L brackets. This is fitted onto the end and with the help of center punch I mark the location. Once I get the hole location I drill them and tap them with M8 thread tap. So these pieces I cut down from 50 mm polyethylene rod and the length of one piece is around 50 mm and these are going to be used as a height adjuster for my leg. Since I don't have a tap at the moment so I made my own and used that to make the thread inside those plastic pieces. I lost the footage of cutting process so that's why I'm not going to show that. Then with the help of router and a round over bit, I slightly round over the edges for the aesthetic purpose. Once everything has been completed, I started the process of assembling all the pieces together. I starting that process from assembling the bed. I struggle a lot in fixing those angle pieces but somehow I able to fasten them together. Thank you. 
then I start preparing the legs for the assembly and first I attach the L brackets to the top and then insert the height adjuster on the onto the bottom side but after after attaching the leg to the main frame I found that there is a lack of rigidity in the structure mainly in the leg and this is only because there is only one point contact and to overcome that mistake I cut down some L brackets and these L brackets are going to be attached with the leg and the top of the middle brace and this provide a lot more stiffness to the leg and also prevent the leg from turning side by side. To mark the hole location for the second hole I use this longer double hole jig and to know the initial point I use one of my old jig with the help of which I mark that hole and then with the help of scriber scribe a line so that I place that longer jig onto that line and trace the second hole location then I drilled out that hole and tap them as well with the help of this jig I transfer the hole onto the top of the middle braces as well and tap them also so that the L brackets are going to connect both the leg and the bed together After assembling the gantry rail the mainframe seems to be completed to me and it is quite stiff and rigid to wear any amount of vibration but I am definitely going to reinforce the legs with the middle brace so that hunting oscillation can be stopped when the gantry is moving forward and backward. So in my next CNC video I'm going to build the gantry of my CNC and also going to attach linear rails to it. So make sure to subscribe the channel and also don't forget to watch other videos on our channel. Till then have a great time.